But despite the job losses that Royal Mail's uh, announced, it's introduced owner drivers into the business. They're on approximately 20% less pay and insecure contracts. Uh, and you've retained and recruited thousands of agency staff. So postal workers are going to lose their jobs while casualised workers replace them. That's fire and replace, isn't it? No, there is no fire and uh, rehire, I think is the phrase. That's no, I didn't say fire and rehire. So fire and replace. Those people are gone, they're out the door, they're bulleted. You're getting people back on casualised labour. Is that the way to run a cherished uh, national asset such as Royal Mail? I apologise, I'd misunderstood there, so I, I apologise. No, that's, that's not what we're doing at all. As I said before, we've got 97% full-time employment, which is something that we want. I think in terms of the agency workers, you know, we did have 18 days of industrial action, and we did have to make sure that we kept our service running. And that did mean that we had to increase our level of agency workers to make sure we could keep the service running during industrial action days as well. Now, what I'm pleased to report, and it was something that Dave and I discussed, uh, was that we would reduce those agency workers, which we've rapidly done. Uh, and, you know, we're back in talks now. And I'm, we're very pleased that we're back in talks now, and it would be good to get an agreement as soon as we can. Well, that's, pl that's pleasing to hear that you, 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 you're talking. You, you, one of the reasons that you cited was the operating loss of between 350 and 450 million in 2022 half year results was a direct result of the industrial action. So, what's stopping you from reaching an agreement with the CWU to, to end the dispute? Well, we would love to get an agreement, and I'm delighted that we are back in talks. And, you know, Dave, Dave called me just before New Year. We had a conversation actually on New Year's Eve, and I'm delighted that that has led to where we are. I think in terms of where we've got to, we have now made 12 concessions. Um, including an increased pay offer and also items such as voluntary working on a Sunday. Um, I don't want to prejudice where we are with those talks, but you know we've got some more days to go, and I think that we should you know, keep our efforts to try and get an agreement. What we really need here is everybody pointing in the same direction so that we can reinvent Royal Mail for the next generations, which means we can compete in that parcels market. And as I've said before, we've got the infrastructure in place, it's there ready, it's coming on stream, we're making progress with it, but we must have the ways of working. And it's an urgent situation because I think, as everyone here on the committee will understand, a million pounds a lost day is not something that is sustainable forever. I just want to bump in here. You notice when he said parcels market, mentioned nothing about letters, did he? Now, this, that's going to be quite important in another video, which, believe me, Absolutely brilliant. 